which is kind of heavy. Uh oh. There we go. Take a breath there, honey. Come on. Almost there. Whooping cough, pertussis, is a highly contagious respiratory tract infection. In many people, it's marked by a severe hacking cough followed by a high-pitched intake of breath that sounds like whoop. Symptoms. Once you become infected with whooping cough, it takes about 7 to 10 days for signs and symptoms to appear, though it can sometimes take longer. They're usually mild at first and resemble those of a common cold. Runny nose. Nasal congestion. Red, watery eyes. Fever. Cough. After a week or two, signs and symptoms worsen. Thick mucus accumulates inside your airways, causing uncontrollable coughing. Severe and prolonged coughing attacks may provoke vomiting, result in a red or blue face, cause extreme fatigue, end with a high-pitched whoop sound during the next breath of air. However, many people don't develop the characteristic whoop. Sometimes, a persistent hacking cough is the only sign that an adolescent or adult has whooping cough. Infants may not cough at all. Instead, they may struggle to breathe, or they may even temporarily stop breathing. When to see a doctor. Call your doctor if prolonged coughing spells cause you or your child to vomit, turn red or blue seem to be struggling to breathe or have noticeable pauses in breathing inhale with a whooping sound causes whooping cough is caused by a type of bacteria called bordetella pertussis when an infected person coughs or sneezes tiny germ-laden droplets are sprayed into the air and breathed into the lungs of anyone who happens to be nearby risk factors the whooping cough vaccine you receive as a child eventually wears off. This leaves most teenagers and adults susceptible to the infection during an outbreak, and there continue to be regular outbreaks. Infants who are younger than age 12 months who are unvaccinated or haven't received the full set of recommended vaccines have the highest risk for severe complications and death. Complications. Teens and adults often recover from whooping cough with no problems. When complications occur, they tend to be side effects of the strenuous coughing, such as bruised or cracked ribs, abdominal hernias, broken blood vessels in the skin or the whites of your eyes. Infants. In infants, especially those under six months of age, Complications from whooping cough are more severe and may include pneumonia, slowed or stopped breathing, dehydration or weight loss due to feeding difficulties, seizures, brain damage. Because infants and toddlers are at greatest risk of complications from whooping cough, they're more likely to need treatment in a hospital. Complications can be life-threatening for infants younger than six months old. Prevention. The best way to prevent whooping cough is with the pertussis vaccine, which doctors often give in combination with vaccines against two other serious diseases, diphtheria and tetanus. Doctors recommend beginning vaccination during infancy. The vaccine consists of a series of five injections, typically given to children at these ages. Two months. Four months. Six months. Fifteen to eighteen months. Four to six years. Vaccine side effects. 
Side effects of the vaccine are usually mild and may include a fever, crankiness, headache, fatigue or soreness at the site of the injection. Booster shots. Adolescence. Because immunity from the pertussis vaccine tends to wane by age 11, doctors recommend a booster shot at that age to protect against whooping cough, pertussis, diphtheria and tetanus. Adults. Some varieties of the every 10-year tetanus and diphtheria vaccine also include protection against whooping cough, pertussis. This vaccine will also reduce the risk of your transmitting whooping cough to infants. Pregnant women. Health experts now recommend that pregnant women receive the pertussis vaccine between 27 and 36 weeks of gestation. This may also give some protection to the infant during the first few months of life. Preventive medications. If you've been exposed to someone who has whooping cough, your doctor may recommend antibiotics to protect against infection if you are a healthcare provider, are pregnant, are younger than age 12 months, have a health condition that could put you at risk of severe illness or complications, such as a weakened immune system or asthma, live with someone who has whooping cough, Live with someone who is at high risk of developing severe illness or complications from a whooping cough infection.